All right, what is up, you guys? So I figured I would kind of update you on something I just got. These are resealable bags for DVDs. You know, obviously I have a lot of rare DVDs. I like to keep them here, for example, like this was sent to me on eBay and they put it in one of these bags and I like to keep it in there, you know, just, just in case, you never know. Can't trust anyone. So, you know, I like to keep them sealed in these bags. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some more of my rare ones like old pay-per-views or, you know, collector's editions, and just kind of seal them up to just keep them nice. So I'll show you which ones I do that to and um, kind of show you how they work. Okay, so I have the special collector's edition of the Trish Stratus DVD. I have one of the little bags here. So basically they just have this little kind of seal. You just rip it off, sticky parts under it. And then you're good to go. So I already bagged one. Ultimate Warrior. The Collector's Edition FYE. You know, I'm just doing this for some of the more rare ones. Just to kind of keep everything nicer. You know? Just, you know, for moisture or, you know. You never know what could happen. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you kind of how they worked. And they are resealable. I made sure of that. So if I ever want to review them, I can just, you know, take it out and reseal it then. So, yeah, these are pretty nice. Alright, so I just got done sealing a bunch of them. Um, you know, I sealed Attitude Collection, Trish Stratus, of course. And I just sealed the 1990 paper, 1999 pay-per-views all the way up to um, Vengeance 2002. Figured I'd stop there. You know, some of just the more rare ones that I just want to keep as pristine as possible. And I did get some signed ones, thankfully. Like my Hardy Boys signed one. And so yeah, just some miscellaneous ones. Like EC3, I have a signed one with him. These are fallen. So yeah, if you want to find these, they're on eBay. I only paid five bucks for 100 of them. So I definitely recommend it. You can see I still have a bunch left. So yeah, let me know what tips you have. You know, you can discuss that down below in the comment section. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little kind of behind the scenes look. For now, this has been the DVD Freak. Peace out.